Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic product review just for you. Jack, Chloe, and their two-year-old son, Jaden, love my show, decided to send me a fan package, and these are a few of their favorite things they, li they like to eat. So they said, uh, this is called, I think, Mackey's. Uh, they're from Scotland, and Scotch bonnet chili pepper uh, flavored corn potato chips. These are gonna be, they said eat these last if you could. So we'll put them over here just for a second. Then they sent me Scampi Supper uh, flavored snack, delicious anytime. And these are Scampi and lemon flavored corn chips. And these come from the U United Kingdom somewhere. It doesn't really tell me where except the United Kingdom. And then these are Mr. Kipling's and uh, I think it's a play on words, banana and toffee, so banana fee, I guess. And there's four of them individually packed. Check it out. I'm going to do that first. I want to do the sweet first. Let's see if we can open this really easy. Once again, guys, I'd really like to thank you for sending me this stuff. It's very cool. That's funny. There's a tab on this side, but it's not easy. Then there's a tab here, which is the easy spot. Maybe I don't know why it does that. I don't know. All right. That looks pretty cool. That looks amazing. Oh, it, just, oh, it smells like coffee, for sure. Toffee and banana. Let's get into it right away. Banana flavor right up. Hit the taste buds first, right away. There's also like a... A little bit of a filling in between. I'm liking these. I'm not sure if I like them more or less than some of the other um, Mr. Kipling's things that I've tried on this channel. At this moment, it's funny, it has a, maybe the artificial banana flavor. I'm not sure if it's really artificial banana. Chances are it's artificial banana flavor, but it's leaving a little bit of an aftertaste in my mouth. Let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with me, but I think it just kind of sits there. It kind of gives me a little, mm. I would give these uh, between an indifferent and a would recommend because like I said, the other Kipling's things are like a go out and get it now. So I probably wouldn't buy that again. Let's try Scampi's Supper. I don't know why it's called Scampi's Supper, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, interesting. That's completely different. Okay, people. Okay, check the picture out on there. <laughs> Is there a difference between the chip and what's on this package? I think so. It's like not even like wrapped around or anything. It's it's actually, actually looks like a game piece for some, or a bead that you'd make a necklace out of. And on here, they look like corn chips. All right, here we go. Wow. That was awesome. Super lemony and salty right off the top. And then you get the corn chip flavor with a little hint of seafood. I guess that's the scampi part. Mmm. It reminds me of um, scallops. I'm not sure what a scampi is, <laughs> but uh, the, the flavor is like um, scallops. So it tastes like a salty scallop corn chip. So if you like scallops or seafood and you like savory, salty foods, this is right, this would go right up your alley. Ooh la la. Wow. We are going to push this up to a would recommend. We might change our mind on a couple things, comparing them to each other. All right, we're on to the Scotch bonnet. As you know, a Scotch bonnet is a uh, hot pepper. I haven't tried eating a scotch bonnet all by itself. Look at that. Lots of air. A few chips. It's about that full, so it's probably more full than some of the chip bags I've bought in the past. All right. Let's do a little rinse. So you can see all the little spices on there. Does it smell like regular potato chips? Until you put it in your mouth. Hot. 
really hot. Ooh. It's starting to burn a bit. Let's throw a few more in. Mmm. Okay, guys, on my rating scale for these ones, uh, I'd give it a would recommend too. Maybe just a little bit less than a would recommend uh, if you don't like hot, hot, spicy um, potato chips. But if I saw all three of these in the store again, I would buy this for sure. That's my number one out of the three. Then it would go to here. Then it would go to Mr. Kipling's last or never. I probably wouldn't ever buy that again. But the other Kipling's little treats that you can buy at Christmas time and stuff, those rock. I'd like to thank Jack, Chloe, and little Jaden. Hey, Jaden, uh, for sending me these amazing treats. They were absolutely fantastic to try. I love trying things out from different parts of the world. Thank you very much. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic product review. Ken Domic out. Boop. Hey, guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Ken Domic food product review and their two-year-old son Jaden who loves my show uh, thank you very much for watching Jaden goody 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 he's two years old okay uh, <laughs> that got weird real fast from all over uh, the United Kingdom and Scotland they're they're part of the United Kingdom are they not welcome back to the Kendomic product review product review product review for sending me these amazing treats all the way from the Netherlands